Hi everyone, what is 8% of 250 and what is 232 into 11 and what is sum of uh, even numbers from 0 to 100? Okay, why you feel these are difficult? Today we discussed about uh, our two tips and tricks for this type of questions, right? Before that, once again welcome back to TSR classroom. Myself, I am Shivram Sir Talbodi. In this class, we discussed about three tips. What is that? First one is estimation and second one is visualization and third one multiplication by 11. Okay, the first one is estimation. What is estimation? <clears throat> Usually, in our regular life, we go for a shopping mall or other malls. Okay. We regularly saw there, for the price of this item, 8% discount for this item and 25% discount and 15% discount. These are all the things we saw every day. <coughs> so, how you estimate 8% and 12% and 15%? Okay, just you observe. The first one is of 8% into 50. How you estimate? It is very easy. You find 8% of 250. First you find 1% of 250. So, how it is? This is 250. How much 10% of 250? That is equal to 25. How it is? You have to put point here. 25.0 means it is 250. And 1% of 250 means that 250, this point you have to put here. That is 2.5. Okay. Now 8% of 250. Simple 2.5. 2 eights are 16. And uh, this is 0.5. 50 pies. 850 pies. 40. So that's why 16 plus 4 it is 20 are you clear 8 percent of 250 is 20 so that's why we got that item for 250 minus 20 that is equal to 230 this is our getting price are you clear this is it is a estimation and one more thing second example estimation it is also estimation 992 plus 800, 889. So how much it is? You just estimate this is a thousand plus this is a 900. It is equal to 1900. It is easy procedure. So how much you, how much you access for this? This is 8 you exceed and here it is 89, mean that 90 and 10, 11. This is 19. You subtract simply 20. It is 18. 80, mean that 79. That is, you have to subtract 19. So, it is 81. It is 19, so that's why 81. Simple is that you have to estimate like this. Are you clear? Second one is, multiply by 11 how you multiply by 11 it is just you observe this is 23 into 11 23 into 11 multiply by 11 so that's why it's simple that this 3 you have to put here and this 2 you have to put here and next one 2 plus 3 is 5 you put it there the result is 253 that's it. Okay, are you clear? And next one. 232 multiplied by 11. So, how you do the, how you do this? This 2, I have to put in units place. And next one, this 2, put here. What next? You add these two, 5, here. You add these two, five here. That's it. 
Or you understand? Multiply by 11. One more example, 983 by 11. Here you observe, this 3, you have to put at units place. And next one, this 9, you have to put it here. And what happened next? 8 plus 3, it is 11. So you have to put 1 here and 1 is carry forwarded. And next one, 9 plus 8, 17. 17 plus 1, 18. Again, 1 carry forwarded. This is 9. 9 plus 1, this is 10. This is the final answer. Are you clear? Very easy. Okay. So this is multiplied by 11. This third trick, visualization. Visualization. What is the question? What is the sum of even numbers from 0 to 100 and sum of even numbers from 0 to 50 are sum of even numbers from 0 to 6. You have to take one example. So you have to take like this 2, 4, 6, 8. We take first 4 even numbers. How we visualize this? Just you observe. This is 2. And this is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What happened here? Just you observe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. So just you observe that these are column are 4 and the rows are 5. Just you observe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 4, 5 is a 20. What happened here? Just you observe 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the four first four even numbers. That is you take it as an n is equal to 4. Okay. And you multiply this by 5. That is n plus 1. It is 5. So that's why our formula is n into n plus 1. That is equal to 4 into 5, 20. That is the formula to find sum of n even numbers. Are you understood? Right. The next one is sum of odd numbers. Sum of odd numbers. Here you observe this is 1, 3, 5, 7. Okay. Here you observe 1, 3, 5, 7. You take this is 1 and this is 3. 1, 2, 3. And 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And next one 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Again, you observe here. This is 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1, 2, 3, 4. What happened here? 1, 2, 3, 4. You take 4 first odd numbers. And you already observe here. These are the 4 and these are the 4. First, that is n is equal to 4. And again you multiply it by 4, that is equal to n into n, that is n square. Sum of n odd numbers is n square, n into n. This is the visualization. Are you understand? Why you hurry to solve this type of uh, questions? Just watch DSR classroom. I solve it as, as much as easy. Okay? Are you like my videos? Just you like, share, subscribe and support me. Thank you. Thank you for watching. You are Sivaram Sir Thank you very much.